Ooh, I look lovely. So it's Sunday morning. It's Father's Day. And Dee Dee's ring, her engagement ring, still says in process. I ordered her ring, custom ring, and I was really hoping it would be here by Thursday, but it isn't going to be. They said Friday at the latest, or at the earliest. And I am meeting Dee Dee in Disney on Thursday. <laughs> and I wanted to propose on Friday at Magic Kingdom in front of the Cinderella Castle. So I am in a big dilemma. They said they can have the ring delivered instead of to the house to Disney. But what if it doesn't come till Saturday? We're not at Magic Kingdom on Saturday. We are going to Hollywood Studios. I don't know. Um, I'm going to call the jewelry store tomorrow and see. But I really want to do this. So, um, I'll keep it updated. Keep you updated and find it to find out. Um, I need to ask her mom. So definitely we'll do that before the, the trip. Um, but I was contacting the jewelry store last week and then trying to figure this out. And without Dee Dee knowing, she knows I'm coming to Disney. I was going to surprise her. But with her room situation and everything like that, I thought it would be best just to make sure I can come. And I don't want to be snuck in the room. Um, but I would really... I contacted the, the store and they're like, mm, at the earliest, it would be Friday. <sighs> it's taking forever. So I bought a ring, just a... I call it a faker ring, even though... That's what their suggestion was. I the jewelry store. I hate. I don't want to do that though. I want the real ring. So um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna contact them again tomorrow. Anyway, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. So it's still Father's Day, but it's night. Actually, it's Monday because it's after midnight. And I called Parish this morning. Then I called my sister, Christy. Then I called Kathy. Then I called mom and daddy. And everybody's very excited for Dee Dee and I. And my family loves her, especially my mom. And Parrish was very excited. Tomorrow, which is today, I guess, Kayla and I are going to go to Candy's house, and I want to ask her mom, mom's permission, I want her permission to propose on Friday, and um, I bought a ring, just in case, because regardless if that ring doesn't come, I still want to do this on Friday. I'm very emotional about it tonight. It's very exciting. It took me 42 years to find my person. And she's all the things. So I called Paige too. And Julie's out of town, so I texted her so they all know. But, uh, I've been processing what I'm going to say and how I want to do it. Because she deserves the best. Because she's the best. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to call the jeweler and see what they can do. 
I really want that reek here. I really want that reek here. But, uh, I can only move so many mountains. Some things are out of my control. And, regardless, Friday's the day. I know that. And, if the rain comes Friday evening or Saturday, then so be it. Anyway, just keeping, I want to keep this updated. I want this for us to look back in 20 years from now and get to see this. So, um, the goal is to update tomorrow about the ring. It's hard to find a ring. It's hard to... You want it to be right. She deserves that. She deserves the perfect ring. And just looking and going through them all you just want to be able to see the ring and see I want to see the ring and see her so I found it I just needed to get here that's all I know which is a lot one day we talk about it. One day I'm going to introduce you to people as my wife. This is my wife, Dee Dee. I can't wait for that day. I'm very lucky. Till tomorrow. Well, it is Monday. I called the jewelry store and it's a no-go. The ring at the earliest could be here on Saturday, um, probably Tuesday, which is very disappointing. But everybody I've talked to says, it's not about the ring. Go get the girl. Just go get the girl. So I'm still going to go get the girl. Um, we are heading to Dee Dee's mom's house here in about an hour to go get some of Dee Dee's stuff and to ask permission to propose. It's very exciting. Um, I was able to change my flight and go on Wednesday night instead of Thursday night. And anyway, um, we'll see how this goes this afternoon. Well, we went to Candy's house and I asked her and she was so sweet and said how much she loves Kaylin and I and is so excited for Dee Dee and I and she absolutely wants this for us and has our blessing and it was really sweet. It was really sweet. So um, now I'm just figuring out Kaylin and where she's gonna stay and everybody has been very helpful with that and wants her to stay with them so um that's not a problem i'm just ready to get there i can't wait i cannot wait so um but uh candy Dee Dee's mom was telling me a story about when her and her husband got engaged they got engaged they were together i think four months and he proposed and she said he didn't have a ring when he proposed. And um, she said, it's not about the ring. It's about the person. It's about the moment. It's about what you say. But that was so sweet, it makes me wanna cry. She's just adorable. So um, now it's just getting everything ready and um, packing and processing and, calming myself down a little bit and um Dee Dee has no idea I can't wait so that's where we are that's where we are 
So I've been sitting here for the past 30, 45 minutes thinking about how I'm going to propose and what I'm going to say. And man, I think I could be down on that knee for hours <laughs> with all the things I'd like to say to Dee Dee. Today I started, I was mowing lawns. I was thinking about all the reasons why I love Dee Dee. And I think one of the biggest things is the way she loves. When she loves, she loves with her whole heart. And I'm just so grateful that she loves me. The way she loves her family. The way she do anything for any of them. I just... I think that's one of the things that really drew me in to... Dee Dee has seen her interact with Ellie and her mom and Parrish and just... I've never met anybody like that. And the way she treats me. It's just... I'm so lucky. But there's so many things I want to say. And putting it all in there. And how's it going to work? And, you know, is there going to be a lot of people around? Are we going to get this recorded? And all of those things. And are people going to take pictures? Are we able to get pictures of this? And... Very excited, very nervous. I think that's my stomach's been kind of in knots the past couple of days, and I think that's why it's just I want it to be perfect for her. I want it to be perfect. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, I fly out tomorrow evening. Our shirts came today. I hope she wants to wear her shirt. Um, I'll wait and hopefully we can we can vlog that together. so grateful. I'm so thankful. And I'm just so lucky. And I hope she chooses me. And I hope we get to spend the rest of our lives together. All the emotions, the crying, the happiness, the excitement, the nerves, I get it all. It's all happening right now. So, um, but I'll update you guys tomorrow as I get to go to the airport. I miss her so much. I can't wait to see her. I'm on the airplane. Just boarded. Flight's about 20 minutes delayed so puts me there a little after 11. But here we go. records and the fan noise isn't terrible but Kelly is mowing and we got engaged a week and a half ago and um, I'm proposing back <laughs> I'm really nervous about it so Kelly wanted like we've talked about a ring because I definitely wanted to get her a ring but um I had to get her a backup ring as well so, I found a very simple, small carrot, 
diamond ring on Etsy, white gold band, princess cut, which is what she wanted, but she wanted something, you know, she's like scared that she's gonna like bang it up. And with her job especially. So I found her this ring. It was reasonably priced, which, you know, she didn't want me to spend a lot of money and I have some guilt about that. I feel like at some point <clears throat> I do want to get her a nice ring, but this ring won't be here until the end of July, beginning of August. I'm going out of town. Her birthday is July 21st, so this trip has been planned since last summer, since before she and Greg were both back in the picture of parishes and, and my lives. And um, I did find her a backup ring, which will be here next week. So anyway, I'm talking circles, but my we've already planned to go out for her birthday on the 13th, which is a few days before I leave. And um, so while I do have a birthday gift for her to give her that night. I'm also going to take her to the place of our second first date, which was Summer Moon Coffee. I'm going to propose. I have no idea what I'm going to say, but I'm going to give her the backup ring. But I think it's really funny that we're both going to have two engagement rings because of my, my travel schedule this summer and delivery times. So. I'm really nervous. I don't know why. I mean, we're already engaged, but <clears throat> um, I've done a little research because I, I know of another couple that did this, like friends of a friend. Um, like they, like one of them proposed and then later the other one proposed. And it's a thing in the LGBT community. Some people don't get it. That's fine. But, you know, Kelly and I, like, both bring different femme and mask qualities to the table and she's a lady and she deserves a proper proposal she deserves the world and I don't know I'm, I'm kind of nervous about it I was talking to my sister about it a little bit yesterday and um yeah so that's gonna happen a week from Saturday because today is the third and don't don't be blind to still be blind it. But I am a little bit worried about the size because I she knows I measured her for me yesterday. But um I'm hoping it fits. I'm really nervous. I'm hoping both of them fit. But anyway. So that is the scoop in the next piece of our engagement story. Um Yeah. So little double proposal, proposing back to Kelly update. I had ordered her, I think I've talked about this already, I ordered her a ring on Etsy. Very simple, small carat diamond. It wasn't going to be here until August, so I too had to acquire a backup ring. Also on Etsy. It said it was going to be here between the 8th and the 10th. Today is the 10th. It was shipping from Turkey. It's in Germany right now. I am proposing in three days. I don't think the ring's gonna be here. So yesterday I did order a like a dummy ring on Amazon just so I have something. So, and I just ordered for myself a fake engagement ring that arrived yesterday from Amazon. So I have that to take on the cruise next week. So now we're both gonna have fake Amazon rings, the actual rings and backup rings. We'll both have three engagement rings. But the fake ring did arrive, so I need to open that while Kelly's not here. And um, put it in my drawer so I can put it in my purse for Saturday. And just have it. My hair's sticking up. But I'm getting very nervous. I really haven't nailed down what I'm going to say. I have an idea. And um, I know the whole plan for Saturday. Like, I have it all mapped out. I am going to take her to Summer Moon Coffee on Main Street in Fort Worth, which is where we had our second first date in January. And I'm going to propose there. We're gonna have coffee. I'm taking her to a place called Tiny's. It's a Mexican restaurant, um, also on Main Street for dinner. And then we're going to have drinks afterward at this place called Nickel something. 
but it will kind of emulate our first or second first date because me met up for coffee, went to dinner, and then went and had drinks that night. So I feel like it's a solid plan. Um, I told her I'm driving. Kelly likes to drive. I have driven like twice with her in the car since we've been together. So I told her I'm driving because she knows we're going up for her birthday early. And um, yeah, so that is the plan. I'm a little nerve about it, but it'll be fine. Okay, so mini update. The ring did not arrive, the Amazon ring. I had ordered block chargers for my new phone. And I thought that they put the ring in there with the block chargers from Amazon. No, it's still supposed to be here today. As long as I have it by Saturday, that's all that matters. So I have one of them. I don't even care at this point, just one of them. So anyway, little mini update of disappointment. Good morning and the continuing double proposal saga. So I ordered that ring on Amazon. It was supposed to be here yesterday. Now it's saying today by 10. Meanwhile, the original backup ring arrived in Cincinnati and now was back in Poland. I'm so confused because it was in Germany and then suddenly it was in Cincinnati and now it's in Poland. I don't understand. Why are we having so much trouble? Like, okay, Kelly didn't really have that much trouble, but why am I having so much trouble with engagement rings? So we'll both have three engagement rings. <laughs> and honestly, I'm not super happy about either the official engagement ring or the secondary backup ring. I mean, I'm not super crazy about either of them. I really want her to have a much nicer ring at some point. So she may have four, we don't know. <laughs> it just won't be right now. I'm propo proposing back in two days. And um, I keep thinking about like what I'm gonna say. And then yesterday, last night we were talking about how it's been almost three weeks since we've been engaged. And Kelly like just went into this like, it was so cute, <laughs> into this like zone, like remembering all of it. And I just was like, and talking about how nervous she was. And I'm like, oh, I can relate. I can relate to that. But I didn't say anything. So I don't know if she suspects that I'm going to do this. I don't think she does. Um, I've told all her closest friends and Caitlin that this is happening, as well as a couple of my closest friends and my sister. Hmm. Anyway, so... I don't know, but that's, that's my little <laughs> ring update. <laughs> Proposal part two update. <sighs> okay. So I think I mentioned earlier today that the, the backup ring, the original backup ring said it arrived in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is obviously here in the United States. And then nine hours later, it was suddenly in Poland still in Poland or in transit from Poland. It was supposed to have arrived between yesterday and two days prior to that. So I ordered this Amazon ring for 20 bucks. It was supposed to have arrived last night. Then it said by t tonight by 10. Now it's saying by tomorrow at 10. And it just left like Philadelphia or somewhere. I propose back the day after tomorrow. I am so... <laughs> what is that with us and, and these rings? I don't understand. Like three rings I've ordered and not a single one of them is going to be here. I'm, I'm worried that that is going to be the case and I'm not really sure what to do about it. I don't know. I may have to like go to Dollar Tree and buy like a like dollar ring just to propose. Frustration. So fingers crossed that this Amazon backup ring arrives tomorrow because the day after tomorrow, is the day. So it's been over two months since we got engaged. And we've been meaning to record this for a hundred years, but then I went out of town again 
and abandoned my fiance. Mm. And then we started back to work. And so we just haven't had a chance to like sit down and record it. But we wanted to like actually tell a little bit about our engagement. Um, and I don't know if this part will come before or after the other clips from our separate perspectives. I think probably after, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you have clips? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I recorded before I proposed back to you. <gasps> oh, I think I told you. You may just right. not remember. I, yeah. But, um, so I guess a couple of weeks, no, it was a, probably a few weeks more than that. Probably, I guess it was a couple of weeks before I went to Florida. Kelly brought up um, us looking at engagement rings two or three weeks before. And so we actually went and looked to kind of get an idea. Um, and I, it, it's still a little big because I keep losing weight and I need to get it resized, but I'm not going to get it resized yet. But um, I did decide I wanted an emerald cut and I liked the twisty band. This is my official ring. And I wanted white gold, which I definitely knew, like, begin with and um so we did look at rings yeah that was the end of the school year wasn't it it was after school was out it was yeah because we went out for our four month anniversary in may and we were supposed to go and i'll link that i think over here i can't even remember which side um but we went out and we were supposed to go do a little fun outing that i referenced and that was we were gonna go look at engagement rings but then we got hit by this freak storm and we couldn't go Remember that night? Yeah, you did that. Yeah. That's right. And no, I said, remember that night? I do remember that night. And so that was scary. Go. Yeah, so we went like later that week. Um, but uh, I posted most of my Disney vlogs at this point. This was a solo trip I'd planned for a while. Kelly kept bringing up, "What if I just show up? What if what what if I come? I'm gonna I'm coming to Disney." I'm like, okay. Well, that was one a long time. Yeah, that you were gonna be gone. But I was. When was it? You you know better. You remember better when we first talked about getting engaged in front of the castle. Was it our first date? It was. Or was it later? No, it was our first date. It was when we were at Summer Moon. Yeah, and sitting there drinking our coffee and getting to know each other, and we talked about Disney. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how it got brought up, but we both talked about how it would be fun to, uh, or how it would be magical, I guess you'd say, to get engaged. And I think it was after our second date, when we got home, we were texting. And we talked about, remember we talked about how would you want to be proposed to see or? that's the part i remember i remember having a text conversation about the actual like being proposed to or being or proposing and i said it wasn't written in stone but i always kind of picture myself being being proposed to and you said i always picture myself proposing but see when we did this i asked you i'm the one that you remember i asked you what how what would you like? Would you rather be proposed to or would you rather be, be the one proposing? And I remember on that text that night when we were doing this, um, you were typing your answer because mm -hmm. the three little dots were going. And while you were typing your answer, I was typing mine because I wanted to see yeah, if we, after the fact. If, we if, it, if it matched. Yeah. And so and it did. I did. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, there were subtle hints. And honestly, probably at that point, when we were, like, we'd only been out a couple of times, I was already thinking, like, what if she shows up and proposes, like, on my solo trip? And then there were a couple other hints. Me Thank you. Thanks. Like, oh, I totally lost it. 
oh, she asked me if I had an itinerary. And I'm like, uh-huh. And I remember giving it to you because I was kind of like, okay, she asked me because she wants to know what days I'm planning on being at Magic Kingdom. And so, <laughs> But I played it off as like I just wanted to make sure yeah. you were – because you were going by yourself. But I also made sure <laughs> – in the back of my mind that those days were set in stone for me just in case and then i think like the other i in my mind i just thought she was just going to show up and so then when we made plans for her to come out there i was like oh okay i don't think she's going to propose and so it was fine i was like it'll, it'll happen when it happens but when she got there and we, i remember we were sitting out on the balcony in the room and she, we were talking about going to Magic Kingdom the next day. And she's like, we should get photo pass. And she had just told me before I left, I never spend money on that. That's a waste of money. I did not say that. It was something that. like that. It was something like that. Like, no, I, don't, I wouldn't want to spend money on that or something. And I'm like, why does she want to get photo pass? Hmm? Hmm? So the day we went to the Magic Kingdom, we took the boat. I have not posted these vlogs yet, so I think by the time I post this, they will still not be out. But um, we took the boat, and then yep. she was like, I've got to run to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. I mean, that's very Kelly. It's like par for the course. Like, well, I also remember like I had the ring in the backpack, and we had to go through security. And I'm like, ooh, I hope it doesn't set anything off. Remember, because mm -hmm. I had to go, they had to search the backpack, but it wasn't, you know, because you just don't know what those kinds of things. And I didn't want to have it on me, like in my pocket. Yeah. So I had to put it in the backpack and I thought they're going to search that backpack and they're going to pull that ring out and she's going to see it. So luckily you were on the other, yeah. like you had already gone through security and you were on the other side of the road. And I don't even think I was thinking about that at that point, but I do remember she was very adamant about wanting to carry the backpack. Yeah, I mean, that but is... that's also just very Kelly. Yeah. So, I didn't think a whole... I mean, I kind of wondered, but I didn't think a whole lot about that. So, we get through security. She has to run to the bath. But she also wanted to go to the castle. She was like, we've got to get her picture in front of the castle. We've got to get her picture in front of the castle. And it was like a, a whole thing. Was it a really whole thing? But it wasn't like a whole thing in a bad way. But okay. it was just like, it came up a lot that gotcha. we had to get our picture in front of the castle and so then I was kind of like maybe I don't know but I was also trying to like prepare myself for not happening and um I remember when she went to the bathroom I was like okay this may not happen like I had to like mentally prepare myself in case it didn't and just be okay you know and then I went to the bathroom and I put well because then I wore those particular shorts because they were cargo 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 shorts yeah and they had the pockets on the side so then i put snuck that ring and put it in my pocket yeah and so when we get to the castle <laughs> she was like who, who do we who, who's gonna take our picture like she was she was kind of like a little bit i was i wanted to capture it but i yeah. was so nervous yeah and i very soon well anyway we found the photo pass people and one of the girls was clearly family mm -hmm. if you know what i mean family and um she was also very adamant that we could not get our picture taken over to the side where the photo pass people are she wanted it right in front of the castle and so we go in front of the castle and i can't remember the exact order but this was when i knew because I, number one i put my arm around her and she was shaking so bad i'm like oh my god like then i got really nervous like, I thought I was going to throw up. Oh! <laughs> I didn't. And then I, I, I saw the, the, the short pocket open, and I was like. No, because she, she, we were getting our picture taken. Yeah. And when I'd, I had the backpack on, she was like, hey, you can put your backpack over here so it's not in the picture. So I go and drop the backpack off near her, and I look at the girl, and I said, I'm going to propose. And she, you know quietly because I didn't want you to hear I didn't hear that and then she kind of you know got the look so she took our picture a couple of times remember we had the different had the poses and all of that stuff and then she said why don't y'all turn and look at the castle and that's when I got down on yeah. one knee it's like she I'm sh I'm sure she's well done this versed. before yes yeah. 
And I remember her saying she loved me and asking me to be her wife. And then I, I don't remember. Yeah. Like I was, I was like, and I was very emotional and I said, of course I will. And then I was like, yes, because when Parrish and Greg got engaged, there's a whole thing about him asking her. And she said, of course I will. But she never said yes. And so I was like, oh, I, I said the exact same thing. I mean, yes, I have to say yes. So and then she like took some more pictures. We have some really good pictures. I thought mm -hmm. they were really good. Um, and she sent us to guest relations to get buttons. And she's like, yeah, they'll write just engaged on them. They didn't write that on them. No, we, but we didn't happen. ask, but it was all kind of a blur, I think. Yeah. And we were both just like coming down with this like adrenaline high. And so, I mean, I wasn't going to like push it with that. But. And then we were with the Pirates of the Car mm -hmm. Caribbean. I don't remember Car any of that. Right? doesn't remember any of that. No. Yeah. But I think after that, we were like more like centered and able to enjoy like the rest of our rides yes. and things. So anyway, the next day, Kelly had also gotten shirts for us that had, were they both Minnie Mouse or was one Mickey and one's Minnie? No, they weren't. They were both Mickey. Mi both Mickey. Mm -hmm. And that her said, I, yeah, her said, I asked and mine said, um, I said, yes. And the next day, we had so many people, like, congratulate us. I mean, we did that day, too, with the buttons. But I don't think people, like, put two and two together. I don't I don't think it was as clear because we're an all-lady couple. But the next day, we had, like, so many. There were these really cute gay guys in the line for Mickey and Minnie. Um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And I saw, like, one of the guys, and I was like, I, I mean, I knew the gaydar. Um, looking at our shirts and then when we got back around he was like with his friends and they were all like congratulations yeah. it was so cute and then we saw this cute lesbian couple with their baby and they got really excited like they were beside themselves they when they saw our shirts and they said congratulations and we had some kind of like strange moments with straight people not like in a like homophobic way but like just there was a couple next to us at Hollywood Brown Derby and they were just she just was over the top with what an ally she was and they wanted to buy us drinks as we're leaving and we're like we're, we're leaving to go ride Tower of Terror but thank you yeah I mean it, they were well-meaning but they were it I don't know but we had a lot of people congratulate us that day okay. and it was very and we ate dinner at Geyser Point at the hotel that night and um our waitress was like really nice mm -hmm. if I remember correctly so yeah so it was a very positive experience. We didn't have any negativity. Oh, we we did have a weird moment right after we got engaged because yes. this woman was like, "Congratulations, we took a picture of our family." And then I was thinking about it much later. Kelly did graciously take the picture, but we were just like, I mean, we we're so like high on adrenaline at that point. Yeah. And then I remember thinking about it later, going, "That was really odd. Why of all people would she ask this couple that just got engaged?" I thought it was picture. kind of rude. Yes. And then Kelly brought it up later. She was like, that was like the only imperfect moment was that lady who asked. And I was like, I was just thinking about that. And yeah, it was kind of rude. Like, well, I mean, there was all these other people around. Why would you ask, why would you ask us who we like, just literally five seconds ago got engaged? Mm -hmm. I, it just didn't, it didn't make sense. It was weird. Yeah. But so, I mean, is there anything else from that? portion i can't think of any other like specific details yeah i mean but it was very magical we have great pictures i'll insert some now so fast forward to when we get home and i start thinking oh I want Kelly to have a ring too because there's a weird shadow on my eye. But, um, and my aunt, like after we went over for, I think mom and Parrish's birthdays to my yes. aunt and uncle's house. And she said, well, does Kelly get a ring too? And like several people asked us that, like, well, does Kelly get a ring? I'm like, well, that's the plan. And we had talked about it. She's like, I don't need a ring. Or like, 
you know, was kind of like, I can't think of the word I want to use, but, um, but she was getting a ring. And so I started thinking about it more and I'm like, hmm, what was that? She deserves a proposal too. And so um, I made, made a plan and we went to the place where we went on our first date, which was, it's Summer Moon Coffee in Fort Worth. And um, I had my little speech, I, like practice getting down on one knee, like over and over again. Like one day, that, that day actually, she, we went out with my family to celebrate our engagement. And then that night we were going out for her birthday because I was leaving town in a couple of days. And so I remember she was in the bathroom getting ready and I like, I kept practicing getting down on one knee and like kept going through my speech cause I had it memorized. And um, like, and I told her later, but anyway, so we get there and I had the ring in the zipper pocket of my bag. And so as we're walking up, to the door at the back. I start my little spiel and then reached in to get the ring. And I think, I can't remember the exact moment, but you could see it on her face when she realized what was happening. I had no idea. No idea. But, yeah, go ahead. I was completely shocked. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of fumbled for the ring, trying yeah. to get it out. And then it got very emotional again. <laughs> yeah, you got down on one knee. Yeah. You were so cute and just so innocent. Just oh, your face. Oh, it was so sweet. I'm glad. I was shocked. Yeah, but but we had the backup ring. That's what I was gonna talk about next. Mm -hmm. Was that okay? So this was not the ring that Kelly proposed with because this ring was being shipped to the house, but it wasn't going to arrive until Friday, which was when we got engaged and so I'll let you talk about that I mean so like Kelly has like a whole series of, of vlogs about that yeah and I, I do too actually about your ring so we yeah. both have three engagement rings yes I have the two that Kelly got me and then I had my like $20 cheap ring that I took to Europe and then you have the exact same brand with princess cut back up $20 ring which is what I proposed with because mm -hmm. the other two rings the, the original backup ring and mm -hmm. this, this ring were not going to be there on time so I had to scramble very last minute for another option and I was I was like prepared to thing. go to Dollar Tree and get a plastic ring if I had to. <laughs> yeah so it's our thing yeah. it's just kind of part of our story mm -hmm. so we both have three engagement rings yeah. and not because we're rich or bougie no just how it worked out. Just how it worked out. Yeah. So, yeah. We're engaged. And people keep asking, both of us, I think, like, if we've set a date. We have not. Because Parrish and Greg's wedding is in just over a month. And our conversation the whole time, like, before we got engaged, was that we were going to wait until they got married to really start planning for our wedding. We plan to get married in 2025. Yes. Next year. So, we just don't know. We don't know when. We do not know where. We do not know what that's going to look like yet. Yeah. But we will start planning in earnest probably November, December. Yeah. That's so soon. That sounds good. Yeah. I like that. Okay. I like that's a that. lot. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching our story. And please comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Love it.